get old to be an old person in today's world. In the 60s, what was the slogan? Never trust anyone over 30? Well, they say that 50 is the new 30. So I guess I'm still barely relevant to today's culture. But, but so many are paralyzed by that fear of being out of step, of not being able to get the latest thing that people are getting or, 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 or be cool or be relevant. Um, and, and it paralyzes people, especially young people. The church here in Acts presents a healthy picture of that great triangular relationship between God, culture, and us as humans. The church in Acts saw themselves as coached by the Spirit, living in the world, engaging in the culture, and reserving their fear, their reverential respect, their awe, not for culture, not for any special effect, but for God alone. They did not fear the culture. They did not fear Romanism or paganism. They did not fear life as it seemed to be. Rather, the Christian community lived in a state of healthy reverence for the Lord, a reverential respect of the way things actually were, that they were living a life under the lordship of Jesus Christ, a life in the Spirit, in the very presence of the same Spirit of God who raised Jesus from the dead. Who is your coach? Who is it that guides you, equips you, strengthens you, counsels you, consoles you? If you know Jesus, then what he promised for all of us is true for you. That standing right beside you, indeed dwelling within you, is the paraclete. God's, God Almighty himself, his Holy Spirit, within you, within me, among us as a congregation. The Holy Spirit is our paraclete, our guide, our encourager, our coach. And so let's all be strengthened and emboldened by God's Spirit who's here in our midst. Let's be strengthened and emboldened as we realize, trusting in Christ Jesus alone, that living inside each and every one of us who trust Jesus is God the Holy Spirit. Trust Jesus. Get a coach who'll stand beside you and within you always.